Hello everyone and good day and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we are taking off uh, in Sydney International and we are going to have a little flight over the uh, main city of Sydney. So we are going to fly over the Opera House and just the city, city center and we will also go over the zoo. And uh, the reason for this video is pretty obvious. Um, there is this wonderful new DLC coming for Planet Zoo actually in a couple days and it is to do with the content of Australia. It is actually called the Australia Pack and so I thought it was fitting just to fly over uh, Australia a little bit and we start here with Sydney. I will potentially do a few more flights over the Outback and stuff as well. Um, so keep your eyes peeled on the channel. I will try to do this and there will be also some stuff without commentary. Today with a little bit of commentary, not too much. We will just uh, follow us through now while we are starting here from Sydney. International we have this um, wonderful machine here for us to have a little flight over and very early in the morning I set the weather and the time to local time uh, 6 I think it was 6 40 in the morning or even 7 a.m. something like that um, so the lighting is really cool and midway through the video uh, we will also change the weather conditions a little bit to late evening I guess it was or very early morning uh, just to see how stunning this game can look visually but I mean you know just just have a look at that is already is already pretty outstanding but yeah let's talk a little bit about um, Australia in general like Australia is definitely a continent I want to go someday but you know if you remember Hong Kong or something uh, lately I've, I've talked about which um, I really wanted to go desperately Australia is kind of a mix a mix thing here uh, mainly because I won really hard but on the other hand side I know that the Australians really um, I think they're pretty fed up especially with European uh, visitors and so I, I think actually I don't know how many people I know have been to Australia to do work and travel and I, I definitely heard um, from many many Australians and also from people from Germany that the Australians are pretty upset about this uh, which I can totally understand because I've, I've seen images I've seen reports and stuff about this um, it's quite ex excessive how many people have been there and uh, so I kind of stepped back a little bit from doing that because I thought you know if everyone is going there I might not just do the same thing here uh, because that is le you know potentially a little bit over the top however I still want to go there one day maybe again with my family or whatnot uh, but uh, you know, it's it's just very special and uh, maybe maybe sometimes for a gaming event or, or a job because then I'm not the bad tourist, you know, <laughs> but just in general um, I'm really really excited to go to Sydney one day. I love the architecture of the center city um, I love the city in general how it how its layout and stuff um, With it's being so close to the sea and stuff. I really exciting and really flying over here was really cool this time I did a few flights previously before I recorded just to make this a bit more enjoyable for you and not you know fly just without having any plan uh, through here but yeah just in general um, I, I think uh, it's worth a visit and then definitely I want to go to Melbourne as well but also um, to the outback just you know looking where the aborigines live uh, and you know just in general uh, see a bit of the incredible nature of Australia I mean the continent itself is very interesting to me because of how it is shaped by by having all the cities and stuff to the obviously to the seed sites and then having the crazy raw nature to the center of uh, the continent is really exciting and obviously many many very interesting and cool animals live on that continent i've never seen actually in their natural habitat i mean surely i've seen koalas and uh, kangaroos in a zoo but never have i've seen them in in their wildlife so i really would love to see that yeah and here you can see to the right hand side the hand model beautiful opera house of sydney i mean that is just stunning uh it was kind of obvious that they did this but um still and now if i'm not completely wrong here we are turning over to the left hand side where there is the city zoo of uh uh, Sydney, which is just in front of us to this little um, land tongue here. So this is uh, really where the foresty area is. Unfortunately, I didn't see that much detail to it. So I'm, I'm not really sure if that is exactly what I was um, thinking that this is the zoo. But yeah, so this this might be, if, if I'm not completely wrong, this area over here we are passing by now is the Australia Zoo in Sydney. Um, I think it's Kingston Zoo or something like that. Um, oh wait, I, I have for actually forgotten how the zoo was called. But um, yeah, it should be in here, uh, if I'm not completely wrong, or I, I make... Uh, missed um, the, the point here while looking at Google Maps. I wasn't too sure, but yeah, it's just very stunning to fly over here. It's just looking very cool. But as promised, I will now leave you alone a little bit with the music and just the enjoyable flight over this wonderful uh, yeah, city of Sydney.
All right, and with the change of weather and lighting, we are back with the commentary. And yeah, you can actually tell how beautiful that looks. Actually, even more early in the morning. I think it's 5.40 a.m. now about this. And I just love that incredible lighting over here. You can see we are passing one last time by over the Opera House in Sydney and over the center city. I will now fly a little bit uh, deeper and closer to the skyscrapers here. Um, for those people who live there or like, have been there pretty much, uh, you have to tell me in the comments down below how accurate that all is. I mean, I th the Opera House is pretty accurate, obviously, but all the rest I'm not too sure but guess again I haven't been here so maybe in the next video we are going to try to check out a city that I have been to but I still have a good list from you guys um, of the cities that we should visit so I will do this as, I, as promised so please keep putting down some suggestions where to go I will pick the best ones and we might have a little flight over there also give me some cool nature spots where I think um, it's also kind of cool to go there but yeah for now we are doing the first landing on my video and I'm quite proud of this one <laughs> to be honest it's not the right runway um, I still have to figure out how exactly to communicate with the tower with the shortcuts like I know how this works with the chat function but there are just so many buttons to kind of uh, keep in mind and I you know I just have the Xbox controller and I don't have like a like a huge kind of flying rig or whatnot where I can have all the all the buttons on there so it's a bit of a, a struggle to always find the right button to do the actions uh, on making the video because I want to make it as seamless and smooth for you to have a good experience and so I just kind of you know I just kind of did the landing here and um, the, the way back into um, the uh, the actual parking position is pretty bad so I'm just gonna cut, cut that out it's yeah it's just very bad but anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed today's little flight over Sydney it's just a rather short one as the last times as well but I think it's kind of a cool format to just you know have a little talk about that and I'm super excited also for the Australian pack I can already give you a little spoiler ahead the Sydney Opera House will play a role in something I'm preparing for you guys um, this will be pretty cool pretty exciting so I'm really looking forward to your reactions on that but now make sure to you know comment something down below like and share the video if you like it and also let me know what else you would love me to do in flight simulator or if, if there's anything you guys want to see in particular um, that would be nice to know and other than that have a wonderful weekend everyone keep your eyes out to the channel there will be some cool stuff coming in the next couple days and yeah just have a wonderful wonderful day everyone